Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and welcome to the Teddy Bear Tea on this beautiful day. Who's ready for a nice holiday? It's a Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Christmas. Christmas? Who's getting presents? Me. Who's naughty? Me. <laughs> Who's nice? Everybody's nice. Okay. Well, today I'm going to read you a story. It's called, How Many Sleeps Before Christmas? One winter morning, before the sun had even woken, little P Pip climbed out of bed, padded across the floor, and psst, gave Daddy Grizzle a gentle nudge. Daddy Grizzle yawned and stretched the way he did every morning, then plumped his pillow and zzzt, fell right asleep. There's Daddy Grizzle, sleeping, sleeping. <laughs> Wake up, said little Pip. I think it's Christmas Day. Daddy Grizzle opened one very sleepy eye. No, he mumbled, it isn't Christmas yet. In fact, there are four sleeps before Christmas. Four whole sleeps to wait. Little Pip gave a disappointed sigh. <sighs> but don't worry, said Daddy Grizzle. After all, we still have plenty of things to keep us busy. First, they needed to find a tree. They did. So they went out, Daddy Grizzle and Little Pip, and searched until they found the perfect tree waiting in the woods. That's a pretty big wood, isn't it? Pretty big to find the perfect tree. And that night, they decorated the tree with all kinds of ornaments and lights, then cuddled up in the comfiest of chairs. Four whole sleeps till Christmas, Daddy Grizzle reminded little Pip. Okay, Daddy, murmured little Pip. One, two, three, oh, four more sleeps till Christmas. But the next morning, a certain someone seemed to forgot everything. Psst, said little Pip, wake up, I think it's Christmas day. Daddy Grizzle climbed out of bed with a big bear groan. No, said Daddy Grizz Grizzle, it isn't Christmas day. There are three more sleeps till Christmas. Three. Three, sighed little Pip, three, but perhaps that was just as well, because after all, they still had to make up Christmas cards and send them out. After Daddy Grizzle and little Pip had written their cards, out they went for a brisk walk, only stopping to shout special delivery at the door of their Voices, yippee, we found some Christmas cards. They went to all their friends and neighbors and handed out the cards. So how many days till Christmas? How many? Four. Four. And how many left now after one day went? One. One. Three more days, three more days. And by the time little Pip was tucked in bed, not only had Daddy Grizzle displayed the cards, but he'd also explained something that still needed explaining. There are three more sleeps till Christmas, three more. So they went to bed. And then the next morning, little Pip was still confused. Psst, wake up, Dad, wake up. It's Christmas Day, I think it's Christmas Day. Daddy Grizzle rubbed his sleepy eyes. No, he yawned. No, 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 not now. First, we have some presents to wrap. So they both sat down and while, without looking over their shoulder, once wrapped two, no peeping presents, to be opened the first thing on Christmas morning. Who likes to wrap presents? Everybody, who likes to open presents? Yeah, everybody does. That night, after they placed all their presents under the tree, Little Pip watched the Christmas lights shimmer and shine and twinkle before climbing into bed. Try to remember, said Daddy Grizzle, hoping to make things, things clear. There are only two more sleeps till Christmas. Two whole sleeps to wait for Christmas. 
But of course, little Pip, Pip did not remember the next morning. Psst, said little Pip early in the morning. Today, I'm sure it's Christmas Day, Daddy. Daddy Grizzle scratched his head. No, he said, peering into the snow-covered woods. First, we make, must need to make some special friends. They made two snowmen, one big small and one big with a happy smile, and they played outside. Later that night, little Pip asked, how many sleeps till Christmas, said Daddy. Well, said Daddy Grizzle, without a thoughtful look, he found a tree and delivered our cards. We wrapped our presents, made friends. Now there's something else to do. It's only one more sleep till Christmas. Only one sleep to go. One, smiled little Pip, just one. And even Daddy Grizzle felt a shiver of excitement. Shh. Sleep, 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 sleep. Ooh, gotta wait for Christmas. And when little Pip opened his tired eyes, there stood Daddy Grizzle, wide awake and beaming. Wake up, wake up, little pig, said Daddy Grizzle. It's you know what. Little Pip gasped, and Daddy Grizzle let out a huge cheer that rattled the window and woke up the entire forest. Hooray, hooray, it's really Christmas. Even though we had to wait four days till Christmas. The end. They got Christmas Day in four sleeps. Yeah. Right? How many days? Four. Three. How many days till Christmas now? Does anybody know? How much? 23. 23. Yeah. Yay. 23 more. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to try another book here. All right. Here are the three bears of Christmas. Daddy. Baby. And Mama Bear. Who's that? Santa. Santa. Well, it's Christmas Eve. Baby Bear hung the bells on the Christmas tree. Papa Bear hung stockings on the mantle. Mama Bear baked three gingerbread bears. One was for Papa, one was for Mama, and one was for Baby Bear. May I have my gingerbread, asked Baby Bear. Baby Bear? It's too hot, said Mama. You'll need to wait. But I'm hungry now, said Baby Bear. Let's take a walk, said Papa. That'll help while you wait. On their walk, the bears played, what do I see? Papa saw a rabbit. Mama saw the Big Dipper. I see something flying over the moon, said Baby Bear. It must be a shooting star, said Papa. Then the bears played, what do I hear? Papa heard an owl. Owl, Mama heard pine cones falling. Mm-hmm. I hear bells, said Baby Bear. It must be icicles, said Mama. Look, said Baby Bear, someone opened the door. It must have been the wind, said Papa, Mama. The three bears headed for a kitchen. The kitchen, somebody opened the, the door on their cabin. Someone nibbled on my gingerbread, said Papa. Someone nibbled on my gingerbread, too, said Mama. Someone gobbled my gingerbread all up, said Baby Bear, and left a woolly mitten. The bears followed a trail of crumbs. Someone is messy, said Mama. Someone sat in my chair, said Papa. Someone sat in my chair, too, said Mama. Someone Big broke my chair, said Baby Bear, and dropped a fuzzy hat. Right there, a fuzzy hat. The bear saw boots on the stairs. Someone has tired feet, said Papa. Papa, Mama, and Baby Bear rushed upstairs. Whose boots do those look like? Eva. Santa, those look like Santa's boots. Uh-oh, do you think, you, you think you did? Okay, good. Uh-huh, someone rumpled my bed, said Papa. Someone rumpled my bed too, said Mama. Someone in a big hurry rumpled my bed, said Baby Bear, and forgot a big red coat. Who do you think could forget a big red coat like that? Santa. Santa. Santa, Santa, yes, yes.
Jingle, jingle, jingle. Someone is ringing my bell, said Papa, Mom, and Baby Bear. Then they all ran downstairs. Someone left presents under the tree, said Papa. Wow, look at all those presents. Wow, someone filled my, our stockings too, said Mama. Who could do that? Ho, 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 someone jolly, shouted Baby Bear, and there he is. Merry Christmas, Hello, Santa. Everybody. Thanks for visiting. How is everybody doing? Good. You guys all look great. Look how big you guys are. So how have you all been? Good. Good? What happens in three weeks? Somebody see me. Thank you. That'd be great on the other side. My Eva? Oh, 